everybody, this is Avery He TV. Today we are at Six Flags Great Adventure for the Ace Event, Riding of the Bull. This is my second time doing Riding of the Bull this year. And this is Mike's third time doing Riding the Bull. Mm -hmm. So, um, how do you think the crowds are going to be today based on this weather? Um, it's bring a friend free. I don't think it'll be a mess. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna be quite as dead as it would be if it wasn't bring a friend free. Like, if, if it, it yeah, if it was not bring a friend free, this would be a dead day. If it rained like a little more during the day, then uh, it will be empty. I think. And maybe. So go I'm looking forward. I don't think it's a great chance it'll be empty. We are in line now to get into the park. Ace members. All right, so Mike and the Coastal Crusader already is ahead of me in the line at Nitro. So uh, I'm with uh, somebody new I've never met yet. You're from Maryland? Yeah, I'm from Maryland. Your name is Andrew? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Avery. Uh, this is not my home park, but I go here uh, every now and then, though. It's a, it's a really good theme park. Yeah, great is adventure's great good. Um, so uh, I heard your favorite coaster of all time is Fury 325? Yes. I heard it's a, I heard it's a very good steel coaster. Yeah. But it does look overrated, in my opinion. Yeah. Really? How come? Fury looks overrated because there could be better coasters that could beat it. Like, Millennium Forest, I would, would, would think it's more overrated than uh, than Fury. But There's a lot of overrated coasters out there. There are so many. So many I can name. This is kind of Here we are. Morning ERT at Nitro. The, the, I believe it's the second. No, the third. It's the third. Uh, the third. Uh, p and Hyper. Yeah. Second one is uh, Raging Bull at Great America, and the first one's Apollo's Chariot at Busch Gardens. And, but, and Apollo was made the same year I was born, which was 1998. Hey, Josh! Alright, so this is the line for ERT for Cyborg Cyberspin. Mike is actually in the line and it is damn short compared to Justice League. Justice League, in my opinion, I've ridden Cyborg. I actually find it to be a pretty, uh, I wouldn't say the best flat ride I've ridden. I, I overhyped it. it. It's pretty forceless in my opinion. And I love Justice League at the park because Justice League is like a fantastic dark ride. I really wish New England had it though. They should have taken down Gotham City Gauntlet and put a Hall of Justice right there. Right there. That would have been perfect. But they're a cyborg now. It's, I thought it was stuck at one point, but now it's like going down. What's up guys? It's Nick from Beyond the Thrills. We're getting ready to ride Justice League with James, Mr. Justice League. James, how many rides on this? 208. 208. Cool. I'm looking forward to ride uh, Justice League. And with Griffin. There's How are you doing, yeah. Griffin? There's one yeah. of the Looney Tunes. Yeah. Ryan! Woo! Hey, Sylvester. Come on, Bert. Given his impulsive nature. Finally, we're riding Justice League Battle for Metropolis. Yeah. Here we go. Woo! We need to get the Justice League reserve team inside. Here's Collingwood Studios and Beyond the Thrills with Collie with, uh, Collins, Collins father. Um, I'm really speechless. Uh, okay. Tongue twister. Better get back so. to train the recruits. Here's our, here's our train. I'm going to try to locate them. All right. We all just did Justice League and uh, my score is 59,700. So uh, what was your score? 280. Um, how about you? 46. 46,000? Like 98,000. 98,000? 98,000. 98,000. 55,000. I messed that up. Good job. Uh, I think uh, Griffin's was the 49. lowest one. 49. Dark Castle is better. Um, I must say though, uh, Justice League was really fun today. We got everything down. Now we're riding Cyborg Cyberspin. Uh, our little ERT pretty much. I mean, it's... uh. I mean, it just opened at the just opened. And it's like hardly a line, so and it's, and it's supposed to be kind of like a rainy day. So I think the park might be empty. The park might be. We are inside. We are inside the maintenance area at Batman the Ride. So pretty damn cool. There's the red lights. There's the track. And under here, um, I don't see Nitro's clamshells this year. 
So last year I saw clamshells of nitro. It's pretty cool. Actually, never mind. Never mind. I see nitro's clamshells. They're still there. We're now doing my favorite part of the Batman tour, Nitro tour. Yeah. I hear it's just a, I've never been on this tour. No, we, we all did have Nitro before. I've been on, on the King Nick Boss tour, but I've never been on this. So people actually that work at the park sometimes even lounge here. Campus rules. It tells you all the campus rules and these are the houses that people commute in. Which is pretty cool. So we actually have somebody new to my channel. What's your name? Daniel Marinko. So how long have you been following my YouTube for? For quite a couple of years now. That's cool. I'm glad. Um, that's, that's pretty cool. Actually, believe it or not, one guy named Jeff who's not doing the Ryan of the Bull event but stopped me and he recognized my YouTube channel and his uh, daughter was too shy to talk to me but that's okay because I understand it's hard to meet new people and but I heard that she follows me like on a regular basis so that's awesome so if you're watching this uh, please give me a shout out when you can or something if you have a YouTube channel 
Hello, Griffin. Hello. What did you think of the Nitro Tour? It was really cool. So what ride are we riding now? Skull Mountain. And who are you riding with? You. That's awesome, Griffin. We're about to do Batman the Ride now. Uh, we were on the tour earlier, but now we're gonna ride Batman. All right, we're about to ride Dark Knight Coaster, our man, ro a roller coaster manufactured by MacRide. So this is a this is my favorite Wild Mouse I've ridden so far. It's actually the smoothest one I've ridden too. We're about to ride the Dark Knight Coaster still. We are in the line. We're about to ride Just to all trains on lower level. Passengers only to upper track level. Ready to ride, Griffin? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, my vlog had to be stopped right here. The reason why was because both of my phones dropped after my ride on the Dark Knight Coaster. They were both dropped right on the ride. And I couldn't do any more footage for the rest of the day because I couldn't have any of my phones on me because they were gone. But truly, I had an amazing day meeting new faces and people that have been in my vlogs in the past. So it was truly amazing doing the Nitro Tour again. Unfortunately, I couldn't do the Bizarro Tour or King the Ka Tour this year because... The list was too full, and it was just a lot of people this year. And honestly, I have to say, for the GP crowds, it was really packed too. Like, every line was about an hour or above, pretty much. But I do have to say I had an amazing day. So, I'm going to end the vlog right here. So, there will be more videos coming soon. Hopefully, I can do Riding the Bull again next year. I apologize it's too short because of what happened to my two phones. But luckily, I got them back. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please comment and subscribe below. And as always, peace out.